And the very thing, we want to live a, a problem-safe life. Just let me get through life and not have any problems and go to heaven and have a better life. That's all I ask. See, nobody's shouting over this sermon. But sooner or later, this cup's going to show up. But when it does, if you'll allow it, the only thing that it'll do is drive you back into the presence of the King. Reveal to you the King in a way you never knew He Never seen Him that way before. You knew He was a Savior. Then when you get sick, you find out He's a healer. And then when you lose your job, you find out he's a provider. And then when, when everything's going crazy in other areas of y'all, you find another whole revelation of who Jesus is. And the cup was just designed to drive you to the king so he could reveal to you his great love, how much he really cares for you. If you believe that, even if you're going through a this cup experience, would you raise your hands toward heaven right now? And would you just thank him in the middle of it? Would you just thank him in the middle of it? Just a moment, just a moment. Lift your hands and say, Lord, I've heard this word today and I'm going to drink all of it. I, I, I've kind of wavered. I've kind of felt like, God, I can't take it. I think I'll throw in the towel. I think I'll give up. But Lord, I've heard this word and I know now. And the thing that God told me to tell you in closing is this. Don't let the cup get you down. Because it's a package deal. If you're being served a cup, it's just an indication that there is a crown, a high place, a blessing that's coming in your future. Are you going through a this cup experience at this season in your life? I want you to know that the Lord has planned best for you. And if you don't know Jesus Christ, everything begins with Him entering into your life, bringing His joy, His peace, His assurance that no matter what you're facing, He's with you. I want to invite you to pray with me if you don't know Christ as your Savior today. Right where you are, all over the world. You may be watching in the Middle East. You may be watching me in South America. You may be watching me in India or right here in the United States. You may be in Canada. It doesn't matter where you are. The blood of Jesus Christ can cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Pray right now. Lord Jesus, I give you my life. Forgive me of my sins. Thank you for the blood of the cross. And today I confess you as my Savior. And I surrender my life to you. In Jesus' name, amen. I believe he heard that prayer. And we want to hear from you. We want to send you some material. We want to be a, a strength and a help in your life. So pick up the phone and dial the number that's on the screen. Prayer partners are standing by. And in our closing moments, I just want to say thank you to all of our wonderful partners. You know, you make this ministry possible. Together, we are reaching souls all over the world. And we continue our expansion as we're receiving letters from all over the globe of the incredible working of the Lord in people's lives because of partners like you. I really want to hear from you today. Send us a note or call the number that's on the screen. And don't forget about our Ford Student Conference. It's coming up June the 25th through the 27th. We will have the best speakers and artists for youth and students that we've ever had. It's going to be at the Gwinnett Arena last year. 10,000 students from all over the nation came in, and I want your student there. Chris Tomlin's going to be there, the man who wrote How Great Is Our God. Lou Giglio is going to be there, one of the greatest youth speakers I personally